Have you heard women talk about their breast cancer stage and you don't know what yours is? Or has your doctor told you that you're stage three but you don't know what it means? Maybe you've asked your doctor what your stage is but they just won't tell you. In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about your breast cancer stage. I'm Dr. Liz Reardon. I'm a breast surgeon who's had breast cancer three times and the author of The Complete Guide to Breast Cancer. I do the research so you don't have to. So let's dive right in. What does breast cancer stage mean? Your breast cancer stage is a number that gives your medical team a quick overview of how big your breast cancer is, whether your lymph nodes are involved, whether you'll get a benefit from chemotherapy and the likelihood of it coming back in the future. The lower your stage, the better your outcome, although there are some exceptions as I'll explain later. The staging system was developed by the American Joint Committee on Cancer. How many stages are there? Well, there are five stages. Stage zero means ductal carcinoma in situ, which means non-invasive disease. Cells that don't have the ability to move around the body or spread elsewhere. Stages one, two, and three are used for early or primary cancers that haven't spread beyond the lymph nodes in your armpit. And stage four means metastatic breast cancer that can't be cured. Why doesn't every doctor use the term staging? Well, it's commonly used in the United States, but in the UK where I work, we don't use it. Instead, we use a simpler system which gives us an at-a-glance summary of your disease called the TNM system, which I'll explain next. Because your stage is mainly used for the benefit of the team looking after you, you might not be told what yours is. Now, if you like what you've seen so far, remember to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. So how are the stages worked out? Before 2018, the staging system was based on the TNN system, which stands for Tumor Node Metastasis. T is your tumor size at surgery. T0, no tumor found. TIS means DCIS only. T1 is tumors less than two centimeters. T2, tumors between two and five centimeters. T3, greater than five centimeters. And T4, any tumour that spread to the chest wall and skin. N stands for the number of nodes involved. N0 means clear nodes. N1 equals 1 to 3 involved nodes. And N2 means 4 or 9 involved nodes. And finally N3 is 10 or more nodes. The M stands for metastases present. M0 means there's no metastatic disease. And M1 means you have metastatic disease. Now, you are placed into stage one, two, or three, depending on the size of your cancer and the number of nodes involved, but it's still not very accurate. Stage one tumors are small tumors, all of those underneath two centimeters. But that means that every tumor from one millimeter to two centimeters in size is included. And there's a big difference in how a tiny one millimeter tumor might behave in the future compared to one that is nearly two centimeters. That's why the staging system was changed to make it more accurate. We now know much more about how breast cancers behave depending on their tumour receptors, for example. If there were three women with three identical tumours, all the same size and grade, with the same number of nodes, but one was triple negative, one was ER positive and one was HER2 positive, their outcomes could be very different. The new staging system now takes clinical and pathological information into account. And it's based on seven, that's seven, key pieces of information. T, the size of the tumour. N, has it spread to the nearby lymph nodes? And if so, how many? M, has the tumour metastasized to the bones or organs like the lung or the liver? ER status, is it ER positive or negative? PR status, is it PR positive or negative? And HER2 status, is it HER2 positive or negative? And finally, the grade of the cancer. And that means how much do your cancer cells look like normal breast cells? In addition, if you had an oncotype test, this might also be taken into account. Now, although this new scoring system is far more accurate in estimating your outcome from breast cancer, it is incredibly complicated to work out. And I mean really complicated. Each stage has multiple divisions and subdivisions, and I find it impossible to remember all the different options. Now, I've spent several hours trying to find a way to go through them all, but I just can't do it, and it would bore you to death. So instead, I'll put a link in the description to the website where you can work out your own staging if you want to know. 
do you need to know your stage? Well, some women and men like to describe their breast cancer by their breast cancer stage, and it's often the first thing another patient asks you. When I was first diagnosed, I wore my stage three status almost like a badge of honor. And I know it's crazy, but that's cancer for you. But with the new staging system, I've actually been downgraded from a stage three to a stage one B. And I feel a bit cheated, if I'm honest. I had a 13 centimeter cancer with four positive nodes, for goodness sake. But this new staging system reflects my real prognosis. And with a grade two, slow growing, ER positive, HER2 negative cancer, my odds of surviving breast cancer are actually relatively high. Most oncologists and breast surgeons, however, use more accurate algorithms to accurately predict your individual benefit from chemotherapy, Herceptin and hormonal therapy. And they use computer models like NHS Predict and Adjuvant Online. These computer models are based on trial data from hundreds of thousands of women, and they are the most accurate predictor of what treatment you should have and whether it will work. Does staging still work if you had chemo first? Sadly, no, it doesn't. And that's because all the staging data is based on trials of women who had surgery first. If you had chemotherapy up front, there's a good chance that your cancer might have shrunk completely and that any disease in your lymph nodes might have vanished. And there is no way of knowing accurately how large your cancer was, as some cancers do end up being larger than the tumour seen on an ultrasound scan or a mammogram. And we don't know whether your lymph nodes were microscopically involved at the beginning before you started treatment. How do you cope if your cancer is stage three? Now it can seem really scary. And I was worried when I heard my cancer was stage three. I immediately thought that's only one stage away from stage four, it must be bad. What you need to remember is that this is just a ballpark figure. We're just lumping breast cancers into groups, that's all. There are exceptions to every rule. And with new treatments appearing all the time, and the advances in molecular medicine and tumour profiling, who knows what the future staging system will look like. I hope you found this useful. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. I'm Dr Liz Reardon and thanks for watching my channel.